My name is Naveed Sirwani. I am President and CEO of Open Silicon. In this short video, I would like to talk to you about the concept of design line. Let's talk about how companies decide to do the chip development projects. Typically, they go through a process known as zero base budget project uh, process. How does the process work? So, typically, all the different projects in the company are put on a scale that from top to bottom. Let's say the projects which are on the top are the most valuable projects to the company and hence they should be done first. So after such as uh, prioritization has been done, the company decides at what point they cannot fund these projects. So there are typically two lines are drawn. One is known as the resource ZBB line resource zero budget mean the line where you run out of resources right so let's say we draw the line right here so this is your resource ZBB line what does it mean it means we have enough resources to do these five projects but that does not necessarily mean that we have run out of the OPEX budget these days as you can as you know many of the semiconductor companies are quite cash rich and they have fairly large OPEX budgets. Hence it is possible to perhaps go down even further and reach OPEX ZBB line. What does it mean? The projects which are below the OPEX ZBB line, these are the projects that company has decided that they are absolutely do not want to fund. They are not going to be in the plan for this year. But what happens to the projects which are below the resource ZBB line but above the OPEX ZBB line? Which means we have the budget to do them but we do not have the resources to do. Now, about two or three years ago, it was not possible to do anything about these projects. And hence, the OPEX ZBB line might as well have been the, uh, the resource ZBB line. The problem with outsourcing these projects is very simple. If you're going to outsource this project, this is a complete project outsourcing. There has to be company outside which can take this project and do it from the architecture all the way to the end. But there is some good news here. Typically, the projects that fall below the resource ZBB line are not main uh, and new chip development projects. These are typically derivative projects. So what are derivatives? Derivatives are typically projects, so let's think about a, a very simple derivative. So let's say our main chip has been designed and has multiple interfaces like that. And after the chip went into market, it was concluded that a particular segment does not used to uh, use these two interfaces. So hence, it is possible to develop a chip that is a smaller version of this particular chip by taking out those interfaces. This is one example. There's other examples. Yes, we developed the main chip, but that it is concluded that rather than this interface, a new interface is needed replacing the older interface. No major architectural change, no major functional change, yet in order to do this chip, you would need an architecture team, you need an RTL development team, you need a design verification team, a physical design team, a manufacturing and ops team. Hence, all the teams that are needed for the chips here are needed here, but not in the full capacity. Luckily, now there are companies like Open Silicon which have this capability that they can take an original design and a specification of all the changes that need to be made into this chip and hence design this new chip which is a modification of the original chip and hence that is known as a derivative. So since it is possible to be able to specify changes to your designs and have these designs done and if some of those chips happen to be below the resource and above the OPEX ZBB line then such chips can now be done. That I believe is a very new trend that is uh, happening in our industry and I think that trend has ability to do several things. Number one, it will allow many chip companies to do many more chips with the current teams they have. Two, it will allow them to 
uh, modify their chips for very specific customers and hence create more traction with those customers. Third, it will allow uh, chip companies to develop chips for niche markets where it is not feasible for them to put their entire burden of their OPEX and their R&D to develop for a smaller market and they should naturally be focusing on larger markets. And finally, it would be possible for these companies to get a chip which is well designed, skinny down version of their main chip to address a new and developing market very quickly and address the time to market. I believe that chip companies around the world are waking up to this new trend and taking advantage of this trend. Thank you.